question here. Yes. Hi. Um, uh, you're a regular at the Khan Film Festival. So, um, you know, I believe you gave an interview where you said that India is regressive and depressing. Uh, so why would you like to come to this country and find true love if you anyway have, like, not really positive feelings about this country? I think you need to do your homework well. Because I said Indian society is regressive for women. Read, see the interview again and I... Why do you think Indian society is regressive for women? I'll tell you exactly why. This is my point of view. With female feticide, infanticide happening on almost a daily basis, with gang rapes making the headlines of every newspaper, with honor killings, today only I tweeted about it. Today I read in the paper, according to UNFPA, 40% of Indian women, 40%, are married below the age of 18. I think it's a very, very regressive state for women. You and I stand by it. You said, my responsibility, I know what my responsibilities are. I'm supposed to report what is said and like, you know, the clarifications that people made, which is why I'm asking you this, because what people believe in India is that, is that that's what you said. So I'm, I am, so I'm, I'm glad you're clarifying. I'm glad you're clarifying and thank you for giving me this opportunity to clarify. Hello, good evening, ma'am. Where are you? Hi. Yeah. Um, on that, on that, just I'll continue if you don't mind here. Yeah. Uh, just no, no sides here. I'm just saying that probably when you're on an international platform and you represent India and Indian women, uh, you know, when you, when you go ahead and say, which might be the truth, absolutely, when you come in India and you say, you know, it's a regressive, na uh, you know, it's regressive for nation, for women and all, we understand, we believe it. And probably today the times have improved a little because today I'm standing here as a journalist, probably long time back I wouldn't have been working as a journalist if I was a woman. Probably what I'm trying to say is on an international platform when you go out there, for them the only word that comes to their mind is not women, is India. And what they say is, oh, so that's how India is. They already think India does not have buildings, India still has animals, India still has crowd, India still has bustis, but we have education in India. That's my point. It's not, I, I understand, I'm sure Malika, you didn't want that to be the case. You know, you're a very intelligent woman and you speak very well. But the only point was that in an international platform and everybody is looking at Malika Sharavat representing India, you go out there and say, India is a reg regressive I was, nation. first of all, I was not representing India. You are very important for us. No, no, no. I was not with a film. You said your roots are from this country. You Absolutely. are from this country. But I am not going to lie. You say, yeah. I am never going to lie. This hypocrisy is in our society. This hypocrisy is in our जो करते कुछ और हैं, दिखाते कुछ और हैं, तो आप मुझे ये कह रही हैं कि औरतों के साथ अपने समाज में ये अत्याचार हो रहा है, ये रेप्स हो रहे हैं, ये ऑनर किलिंग्स हो रही हैं औरतों के साथ, और कोई मुझसे सवाल पूछता है, तो मैं ना बोलूं, मैं झूठ बोलूं? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. जब एक इंटरव्यूअर मुझसे सवाल I should lie about the state of women that's in our country? So I didn't lie. I said the truth. Or at least I will ask you all, what is wrong if you are saying the truth? I really want to know from every woman here, what is wrong if you are saying the truth? If someone is hiding in other women, and I will stay in other women, and I will give this to other women, how much is it known in female feticide? A thousand men to seven hundred women kill them in a cock. और इस देश में देवी की पूजा की जाती है और बच्चे को फीमेल बच्चे को कोख में मार देते हैं और फिर यही आके प्रेस मेरे पे पत्थर फेंकती है कि मैंने भारत का नाम बदनाम किया मैंने कहा सच बोल के कमाल है यार सुपर मैम सुपर